is a super cool 1981 Chevy Camaro with Z28 trim. Done in a uh, dark green metallic with the correct Z28 rims. Uh, Cooper Cobra tires, excellent tread all the way around. Um, this is what I classify as just an awesome looking driver quality uh, restoration. Uh, super clean car. Uh, floors, frame rails, trunk, everything from the underneath is rust free. If you go to our website, you can see uh, just how solid this is at coyoteclassics.com. Again, a great looking car at 10 feet. You get right on top of it. It does have some little paint chips and stuff, uh, making this a great driver. Uh, it's powered by a small block uh, five, five liter um, V8 engine. Does have the four barrel with a working uh, functional uh, air induction. All that stuff is all complete. The right air cleaners, functional hood, everything like that. Comes equipped with power steering, uh, power disc brakes in the front, and air conditioning. The air conditioning stuff is 100% complete, uh, but does not blow cold. So that will need a little work as well. Engine compartment's really clean. The motor looks nice and clean on it. Uh, just a great looking car. We are gonna get a little rain here in a few minutes, so I'm gonna kinda hurry through this a little bit faster than I usually do. Uh, the front valance does have some uh, issues. It's got some paint issues. Uh, also some cracks way down low here. Way down underneath there, it does have some cracks. As we look at the front of the car, uh, the front nose is in great shape. The grill looks excellent. It's a fantastic looking Camaro, guys. And the best thing about this, we haven't even got to the inside yet. This is a factory four-speed car. Um, as we look at the top of the fenders, the gap is excellent. The paint's excellent on it as far as was laid down great beside the chips. It's been buffed out to a great finish. We do have some tool chips here. Both of our hood gaps are great. It's got the air induction hood on it with the correct flappers back here. Uh, it's got the antenna on the windshield. The windshield's in really nice shape. As we look out here over the top of the roof, this car's never had any hail damage. Right now in our inventory, we bought these two cars together. We bought this 81 Camaro and we bought a 79 Black Z28. They're both in our inventory and we both put them on today. Uh, they're both awesome, solid cars with great stances and are great driver condition cars. So we mentioned that the paint has some chips and stuff, but look how straight and solid this 81 Camaro Z body is. Dual exhaust sounds great, no smoke. Tires have a ton of tread left in them. A lot of paint chips, guys, around the quarter here. No bubbles, no blisters, nothing like that. This is the chips, a couple scratches. Our fender gap is excellent from top to bottom, lines up really nice. No bubbles or blisters on the lower fender. Door looks great, rockers look great. Um, when they did the paint job on the exterior, they did a great job on the uh, inter interior door jams. Look at that corner of that door. It's never had any issues. The paint was done very professionally on it. Same thing here, they painted the quarters, all the doors were off, they did a great job on the jams. Black bucket seats are in great shape. Um, door panels are great. They did put some speakers in the door panels. Very tastefully done though. The windows are manual. They all work properly. The rubbers are in excellent shape. Roof rail rubbers, excellent. Uh, the dash pad is in great shape from right to left. Horn works also. It does have an aftermarket radio. You'll never be able to crawl out of. With your life, Iowa, you don't have really to nice feel sound. Nice sound of speakers in there. Uh, factory four speed, which it shifts so nice. Look at the uh, inside of the jams, guys. Bottom corner of the door, inside of the fender jams, all been painted back in there as well. 
nice and clean. Inside the glove box is good, still has its red. This has got a 79 owner's manual in it. That dash pad is super nice. The steering wheel is great. It's got the correct Z28 steering wheel in it. Um, the plastic on the dash isn't all beat up. So many of these 79 to 81 dashes are just beat up. This has got the factory tack gauges, factory tack works, temp gauge works, gas gauge works, oil uh, amp gauge works, um, oil pressure is a light. Starting to sprinkle now, guys, so we'll go over here and check this uh, driver's side out. In the back, um, we do have, oh, three, four chips in the back. Driver's side, super straight, nice as well. There is some paint um, oxidation, little paint chips in this area here, guys. I'm gonna go in before we get our video camera wet. It gives us an opportunity to check the wipers. And thank heavens they work. So I mentioned earlier, the heater fan works, um, the heat works great. The air conditioner needs to be charged or I don't know if the compressor is not kicking on or what, but um, we had the guys check it out and the AC was not blowing cold. Uh, temperature gauge works, clock does not work, tack works. Uh, everything else on the gauges on the dash works. 44,733 miles on the odometer. E-brake works. Check out and see how this thing runs. Now, as far as, uh, it does have tilt wheel too, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. Looks like it's gonna rain pretty hard. I'll tell you what, this shifter is fantastic. Um, the car runs and drives just awesome down the road. Does not need an alignment. Four barrel kicks right in. Again, this is no powerhouse, but just a super solid, great looking Camaro. Uh, and a factory four speed to top it all off, going through the gears. And there's just a lot of people out there that had these as their first car, always wanted one. Now's your opportunity. If a guy wants more horsepower, um, you can always uh, throw a big uh, three to three stroker or something like that in there. But uh, for drivability, man, this thing just hauls. Yeah, we're not getting no traction on this wet pavement, guys. But uh, there's my left hand uh, going through all the gears there and uh, shifts absolutely beautifully. and quiet going down the road. The rubbers and seals and windows work awesome in this thing. They're all lined up nice. Our speedometer works, guys, but it's off about 10 mile an hour. It's running a little fast. Tachometer works perfectly. I mean, this car just handles the road awesome. If you're looking for an inexpensive, awesome four-speed muscle car, guys, that you're not gonna break the bank with, this could be it. 